Today, we're going to take a look at 2D Essentials. 2D Essentials includes Corgi Engine, Doozy UI, Dootween Pro, and 2D DL Pro. The Corgi Engine is a fast and mobile-friendly kit for building 2D platformer games in Unity. It comes with a number of different demo scenes for you to explore and get started with. In this scene, I have a basic platforming level set up with elements from the Corgi Engine. I've got this character mesh from Spine that I'd like to use as a playable character. In the Inspector, we'll add a character component. We'll set the character type to Player and the Player ID as Player1. Then, at the bottom of the script, we'll choose Auto Build Player Character. The Corgi Engine will then automatically attach and set up all of the additional scripts required for our character to be playable. We'll then save this as a prefab. In our level manager, we simply have to assign our new prefab as a player prefab. In just a few simple steps, we've created a playable character for the level. I'd like to make the level a bit more interesting by adding some moving platforms and AI. To make a platform move, we simply add a moving platform component to the game object in the inspector and then define the number of path elements we'd like the platform to move between. The Corgi engine draws these handy gizmos to allow us to easily set the path for our platforms to move. Now we have a much more dynamic looking level. Finally, let's give the player something to shoot. I have this blob sprite with an animator attached that I'd like to turn into an enemy AI for our player to shoot. Currently, the blob just sits there idle. Let's add an AI walk component to the blob in the inspector. This automatically adds a number of other scripts the Corgi engine needs, such as the character component. In here, we just need to select Auto Build AI Character, and our AI is ready. As you can see, the Corgi engine makes building a 2D level really fast and easy. Next, let's look at how to add 2D dynamic lights and shadows to our scene with 2DDL Pro. 2DDL Pro allows us to easily add lighting effects that interact with our scene in different ways. Here, I've added a default 2D spotlight and positioned it to the edge of this platform. By changing the layer settings, we can define how the light interacts with our scene. In this instance, I'm enabling everything so that the lighting effect is occluded by all of the objects in our game. We can add additional settings to our lights using the add-ons in the inspector. For instance, if we want the spotlight to follow a specific object as it moves, we can enable the look at property and assign a transform for it to follow. We can also add a source light at the root of the transform or add illumination to sprites with diffuse materials. By changing the lighting materials in the rendering settings, we can adjust and fine tune how each of our lights will react to our scene. We can use this to project textures or cookies on the lights in our scene. The next asset in our 2D Essentials pack is DoTween. DoTween is a script library that lets us easily tween values on our game objects and components in our custom scripts. We can tween properties on various objects such as lights, audio sources, materials, sprites, cameras, and more. As you can see here, the camera now shakes whenever the player fires their weapon. To achieve this, I've simply added a custom script to the main camera that calls do tween whenever the player fires their weapon. I've also added a custom script 
that slows down time briefly whenever the player kills an enemy. Dootween is extremely flexible and can really improve the look and feel of our game. Doozy UI is a simple and flexible UI management system for Unity that works with the native UI components to create great looking functional UI elements with ease. We're going to use Doozy UI to build a simple front end menu for our game. I've already got a scene here with a master canvas and a UI element. In my UI elements database, I've set up the front menu to have a main menu UI element and an options menu UI element. Let's create a new UI element and assign it as our options menu. We'll click the rename game object to element name button too, so that we can identify it better in the inspector. For now, let's just add a new button to this element and assign it as the back button. Doozy UI allows us to easily control the behavior and appearance of these UI elements. For the main menu buttons, I'd like an animation and sound to play when we hover over them. I'm going to select all of my main menu buttons and add an on pointer enter behavior to each of them. We can choose from the various options how we'd like the buttons to behave. I'm going to select from one of the preset scale behaviors and choose load to load the behavior onto the buttons. We can control the navigation behavior on our button and transition to the options menu by setting the navigation settings on the button. We'll enable the add to navigation history toggle so that our back button on the options menu works and then we'll choose to show the options menu and hide our main menu. The final step is giving an animation state to our options menu element. I'm going to simply enable a fade for both the in and out animation by clicking this button here. As you can see, Doozy UI makes it super easy to handle the animation and navigation of UI elements. Corgi Engine, Doozy UI, Dootween Pro, and 2DDL Pro have made building a 2D project fast and easy for me, significantly increasing my productivity and workflow. Check out the 2D Essentials Pack, and I look forward to seeing what you can create with it.